A growing number of women saying a local reality show star is more lies than love. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Kirsten Joyce. The new allegations surfacing after we reported that he had killed a man while live on YouTube. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy speaks to women who were looking for love but received heartbreak instead. For some women, it started with a Facebook message. Right away was calling me my lady and my love. Full of charm. He was very sweet. He was very charismatic. And looking for love. Were you of the understanding that this was a monogamous relationship? Oh, absolutely. But that wasn't the case with Lydell Birch. He's also known as Mocha Blast with a history in the music industry and appearances on the reality show Life After Lockup. He is a predator. He's a monster. Becky Barnes is one of the many women who found out she wasn't alone after being deceived by Birch and seeing him shooting and killing Len Coney in 2023. Coney's relatives say it was a love triangle gone bad. And that's what I didn't have so. Here's Birch doing a live interview on YouTube at the woman's house when Coney barges in. You see Coney's reflection in the television monitor as Birch raises a gun and kills him. Prosecutors decided the shooting was self-defense. My boyfriend shot him as he broke down my door. A woman who says she was watching the interview from Arizona and also called 911 seemed to think Birch was her boyfriend too. What is your boyfriend's name? Lydell Birch. After Coney was killed, a friend of his, Nicole Leonard, created this Facebook page. Victims of Lydell, a.k.a. Mocha Blast, the serial scammer. Since he uses the internet and his online profile to get into women's heads and women's minds, that I was going to warn the public about him. It caught fire and... There's just women all over. New York, California, Arizona, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Tucson, Florida, London. A common theme, money. He needed $3,000. I helped him put tires on his car, the electric bill. For the construction for the building, the the, the for phase one, $12,000. Becky Barnes says Birch owes her more than $27,000. I say he has no type. His type is good credit. Tammy England says he owes her close to 6000 That's really embarrassing. Yeah, and it's always been under the premise that he was going to pay me back. Have you asked him for the money back? Absolutely. Absolutely. In texts. Both women provided the 8 News Now investigators with screenshots of multiple transactions. And in California, a woman sued Birch after she says he borrowed $20,000 for a business venture, which he said he'd pay back within six weeks. She says he never did. She was awarded a more than $23,000 judgment against him nearly one year ago and says she still hasn't been paid. I literally could name off the top of my head 20 different business ventures. Brina Malin says she dated Birch in 2020. That they were going to put him in um, the Black Panther 2, that they had decided to hire him as the villain. He was going to buy a headphone company. He, um, uh, besides the barbershop, he was going to open another studio. He uh, was going to do Mai Tai in Thailand. He was going to be a boxer. He was training to be a heavyweight boxer. Multiple women say Birch claimed he would invest their money. He was going to be a day trader for a while. Malin claims at one point Birch pulled a gun on her. While she didn't report this to police, she says she did record Birch as he kicked her out of his apartment. Go, get don't, don't be crazy. Get my house. Don't be crazy. Let me get my purse. She admits to still communicating with him and seeing him after. I, I told him I was scared of him and he was like, he's like, that'll never happen again. Malin and several other women say Birch used social media to attack them after their relationships took a turn. England says Birch posted this sexual photo of her. Come to find out that he did a lot of videotaping of me without my knowledge. She did make a police report and says she was initially granted a restraining order, but a judge later dismissed it. Oh, I guess because he didn't actually physically harm me, they didn't take it seriously. Birch has also posted videos with his weapons, which is another concern. It 
terrifies me. The 8 News Now investigators looked into Birch's criminal history. We found a 2006 arrest for domestic battery in Florida. It appears the case was dropped. As for his businesses in Nevada, the Secretary of State's office reports one license revoked and two in default. It appears he did get some of that COVID-19 relief money for small businesses for Forever Getting Cash LLC and a studio linked to it nearly $18,000. Payroll for 10 jobs are listed on one loan and 15 jobs for a second. He likes to portray himself as a um, record producer, um, recording studio artist, rapper. No, he's he is a romance scammer. Period. We tried getting Birch's side of the story. During a phone call, he used profanity and hung up on me. As for that deadly shooting, the mother of the man who was killed, Len Coney, filed this wrongful death lawsuit against Birch and the woman who was at that home. As for the other women who shared their stories with us and call Birch a romance scammer. It's kind of like, is this a bad dream, you know? And you're like, okay, I'm an intelligent woman. I'm strong, I'm not weak, I'm not insecure. Like a lot of women think, oh, you let this happen to you. No, I'm a businesswoman, you know, I'm very resilient. They're sharing their stories to protect other women who were just looking for love like they were. He thinks he's untouchable and he's still out here doing this to people. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Reports of suspected romance scams can be made to the Federal Trade Commission as well as the Nevada Attorney General's Office.